Get that popcorn ready. Donald Trump is toast. He is politically fucked. The Democrats have the power to subpoena Donald Trump's tax returns that are already in Robert Mueller's hands. All of this was delayed so it could all happen right after the midterm election so it wouldn't be seen as influencing the midterm elections in favor of the Democrats. So that's why Robert Mueller is waiting until after the midterms in order to indict some people, including Mr. Donald Trump Jr. for his role in the June the 9th meeting with the Russians. So it is Maxine Water that, that is leading the Financial Services Committee. They have the ability to subpoena tax returns from the hands of Robert Mueller himself. Donald Trump does not even need to deliver them himself. Democrats have complete power over his tax returns right now. That is why Donald Trump is trembling in fear right now. He knows his son is in trouble. He knows he has no power to stop the investigation. Obstruction of justice is an impeachable offense. The day after the midterms, he tries to fire Jeff Sessions. The only problem is, is that the Senate has to approve his new appointee for Attorney General. Maxine Waters may get the last laugh. He says, happy birthday to Maxine. What Maxine is looking for her birthday is the impeachment of Donald Trump for her 80th birthday. Her 80th birthday. In Gematria, the practice of coding letters and words into numbers, it is Putin. That equals 80 in Dematria. That's what she wants for her birthday, is to uncover the activities of Donald Trump and the Russian mob and their compromised asset in the White House, which the deep state has put in there to bring America into chaos and to facilitate World War III. Look at this. Financial Services Committee, Mr. Trump and President Trump's tax, re uh, excuse me, Mr. Trump equal 119 in Dematria. But get this. The next Congress is going to be the 116th edition of the U.S. Congress. It begins on January the 3rd of 2019, so it's not in session right now. Obama called out Trump on the lie about passing some tax cuts for middle class right before the midterms. It is President Trump's tax returns that are all going to come into light under the 116th Congress. It is Trump's tax returns that equal 69 on 6-9 June the 9th was the day of the meeting with the Russians. Vladimir Putin in Dematrical 69. Get this. Maxine Waters in Dematrical 53. She holds the key to impeachment. Even though Robert Mueller does, Maxine Waters is the one who holds the power to be able to have the ability to subpoena the tax returns in the first place. Maxine Waters in impeachment both equal 53 in Dematria. I want you to see that the amount of time from Maxine Waters' August the 15th birthday to the first day of the 116th Congress is a time span of 141 days. Here's what comes into mind for that. Is that in Gematria, in Gematria, it is tax return that equals 141. She is the one that is going to get the last laugh against Donald Trump. You know, Trump constantly is bullying Maxine Waters, calling her a low IQ person, a nut job, and all this. Be careful what you wish for, Max, but why don't you be careful what you wish for, Donald? Maxine is the one that can make you face the music. She is the one that's going to give you the last laugh, bud. That's what's going to happen. Tax return equals 141. The GOP's a joke equals 141. For their mindless support, of a horrible human being and a mobster, which is Donald Trump. Mark of the Beast equals 144. It is Donald J. Trump is the worst president. He is the worst president by design because all these populist movements are meant to give more power to the elites when the populace and the people turn out to look like fools for their support of a criminal and incompetent nut job in the first place. Well done for the deep state. 
because Bernie Sanders was not put in there as the same voice that America needs to move forward. It is impeachment. It is the presidency of Trump that equals 107 on 10-7. October 7th is Vladimir Putin's birthday. The modern day Hitler, I've already decoded, October the 7th. Putin is 66 years old. That is not by coincidence. Maxine equals 66. Karma. Trump. Or Trump's karma. Funny how Trump's karma equals 43. And it is Maxine that is representing California's 43rd congressional district. I find that very funny how that's the case. That's not a coincidence. I can assure you of that. Also, the amount of time from Maxine Waters' birthday to October the 7th is 53 days. Impeachment equals 53. Maxine Waters holds the keys to impeachment right now completely by the numbers. All by design. Now let's see what her birthday numerology equals for this year, August the 15th. August the 15th equals 23. The Democrats need 23 seats to gain control of the House of Representatives. They got the job done. And Maxine Lee in the Financial Services Committee is going to show that she is going to be the one that's going to bring down Donald Trump outside of Robert Mueller. 62. I think it may be Putin. That, actually, it may not be Putin that equals 62. No Putin equals 80. We have Congresswoman Waters in Gematria that equals 81. Her next birthday is her 81st birthday. Russian Federation equals 81. Let's stop right there. The beginning of the 116th Congress is going to be next year on the third day of January, January the 3rd of 2019. Let's see what the time duration is from that day to her August the 15th birthday or 81st birthday. 32 weeks, 7 months, and 12 days, 224. That is still left up for grabs. Now, let's see what is the time duration from Donald Trump's birthday to Maxine Waters' birthday. Time span of 62 days, 8 weeks, and 7 days. 9 weeks. Eight months and seven days is a lot like Robert Mueller being born on August the 7th. Or that Russia equals 87. Or that collusion with Russia, I think, equals 87 in Gematria. Far right. Gematria equals 87. Idiocracy equals 87. We have that with the far right right now being the very retards that they are right now in their unwavering support of Trump and it's like they're rooting for a sports team. It's really, really, really crazy what we have right now. But it's Maxine Waters that's going to hold the key and it's going to get the last laugh against Donald Trump.